Hi Taurus, guys, let's get straight into it. In the first card you have the Five of Wands. The second card, the Ten of Pentacles. Third card, the Ace of Swords. And then you have the Three of Swords, the Empress, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, first card you have here, Taurus, the Five of Wands, Disruption, Disharmony, Confrontation, a collaborative project isn't working very smoothly right now, and that's okay. Um, I feel as though it's it's a month where you're trying to do your own thing. You've come up as the Empress here. I do see you as an Earth, um, I do see the Empress as an Earth sign. Please interpret her as you would like. There's no rule book. It's all open to interpretation, so please... Um, Try and keep an open mind, but I do see her as an earth sign, and I do think you coming up as the empress, whether you're a female or male, says that there's a lot of concentration on yourself and your goals and finances. I see that on the love front, I think there's a bit of disruption happening for you here. I'm not sure if this is competition, people trying to get you to commit to them, Taurus, you trying to get someone to commit to you. I'm seeing that there's, there's a bit of disruption when it comes to friendships and or relationships possibly in particular those that are dealing with fire signs Aries, Sagittarius or Leo there could be a little bit of ego coming into play here Taurus um, or someone's impulsive energy someone's desire um, you know, is making them act a certain way. But look, I do think this is, if you are in a collaborative environment or you work with many people um, in, a, in a workplace, in an office, in a company, I do think there's a bit of disruptions happening here. Now, I'm not sure if this is because of management, uh, of structure, lack of structure, but I do feel like that people might be in a bit of an uproar um, during this time. You know, they may have something to say. They may object to something that's happening within the business, within the company. It could revolve around finances. You do have the Ten of Pentacles. This is a card of family, income, and legacies. I do think for some of you, this is you really working on your own finances or the finances for your family, uh, for your siblings, maybe if you're helping them out financially, for your children, um, or for yourself. You know, the Empress is all about manifesting that dream career, dream job for yourself, he Taurus. And I do feel like there's a lot of concentration and emphasis being placed on furthering your own goals, furthering your own career. Career, um, you know, working on your own skills here. And I see you coming into a lot of power here. I feel like you're coming into um, people wanting, that's why I said, you know, is it people trying to fight for your attention here? Because I'm not sure if you're sort of what service you provide, what job you do, like say, for example, if you're in project management or you're in production um, or you model or you're a handyman or whatever it is that you do, you know, you've got a self business, a self service. Um, but I feel like people are wanting you. You're definitely establishing a name for yourself here, um, which is really powerful. And I see money around you, new clients, um, possibly clients through word of mouth or through recommendations is what I'm seeing here within the community, within the workplace or within the industry with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, this could also be around family units, family homes. There's pets, there's children in these cards here. You may be buying a new home or shopping for a new home, but it is spending money for the purposes of your family or yourself or inviting more money into your life here, more more abundance, prosperity, and finance into your life here, Taurus. Um, you're definitely quite money-minded too, so I'm not surprised to see this. But I do feel in terms of career, you know, furthering your skills in your career is definitely where, where your strength is. Very. But look, this won't apply to everyone. For some it will, for some it will not. So um, let's try and keep an open mind. You do have the Ace of Swords, and this is, you know, it's triumph. Um, something you've been struggling to attain or to get, um, you're going to triumph with or in. Now, for some of you, this could be a legal battle. Uh, for others, I'm not sure if there's an air sign around you, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm not sure if this person is fighting for you, you're fighting for them. Um, but someone's definitely trying to fight fight for you through words. They're trying to communicate to you or you're trying to communicate to them. Now, this is also um, if you have conflict in making certain decisions about general day-to-day -day things, relationships or career, I see you finally making a major decision for yourself. Remember, it's you coming into your power here, Taurus. So that's quite powerful here. But it can rule legalities. It can also rule um, the element of choice, choosing from people. For some of you, you might have a lot of options around you. But I do think there's one person that's really sticking out to you, Taurus, and you know this person is fighting for you. I almost feel like you're receiving signs of symbols. 
you know, you feel quite familiar with this person. What's next to them is the card of familiarity. So I'm not sure if you've already met them um, or you know this person through the community, possibly through career. You have might you might have met somehow through your career or career function. Um, but there's definitely someone here. It doesn't have to be an air sign. You do have fire. You do have earth. The, the, air, the empress can be seen as a fire sign as well. So it can be this fire sign that's coming in. Or, or someone that's a, a displaying the attributes of an air sign or really trying to communicate with you a lot. It's all about communication. It's the way they communicate, uh, their charm, their mannerisms, um, the words that they use, they're well-spoken, the way they articulate themselves. Something like this of the kind is coming up with the Ace of Swords. But this is also a beautiful opportunity for you. It's something you've been struggling with perhaps in the past, but it's coming and you'll be crowned. Some of you are earning an award for something you've done. Maybe it's to do with career um, or an acknowledgement of some kind for your contributions here, Taurus. But the Three of Swords, conflict in love, decisions in love, um, people are confusing you, you're feeling confused, you're, you're confused between head and heart. The Swords is communication, mind and rationality. The, the heart is desire, love, impulse. Um, you know, we, we can't help how we feel. We can try to think a certain way, try to program program ourselves to think a certain way, but oftentimes, you know, we're only human. We're not robots, and sometimes we get conflicted between our head and our heart, and I think this is what's happening for some of you. For some of you, I feel like you're ready for love. You just don't have the right people in your life um, because I do think for some, especially in this column here, which is quite auspicious, you've attracted a lot in your career. I think you've attracted an element of success or, or prestige or... Um, You've reached a certain level in your career that you're very content with, or maybe you're still on that path and that's okay, you're still climbing. Some of you are, you feel very established in your career, and I think you're ready to take on love. I just, I'm not so sure about the options you have around you right now, and I can see that you're confused. Um, maybe you don't fully trust, you know, maybe there's a lack of trust here. Maybe communication isn't the best, maybe communication is something you need to work on. Maybe there's too, there's too many people getting involved telling you which person to go to or um, which person might be best for you or maybe pressuring you to find someone here, Taurus. But I think with the Three of Swords, I, I do see that maybe this right now is that you're not ready to have anything serious for some of you. Or maybe you can't offer something very serious or long-term to someone around you that's trying to fight for you. Could be an air sign here. You know, or maybe you're torn between your head and your heart. There's different people that you want. Um, logically, one person you think one person might be better for you um, because of common interests or because of your lifestyles. Um, but emotionally, your heart might be telling you someone else. You might be thinking about someone else, dwelling about someone else. So I do think you have options in love. Or maybe this month might not be ideal for you. Um, I feel as though with the Empress card, you'll definitely attract a lot of people. You're very attractive, you're very successful, you're very practical, you're quite spiritual, and you're able to um, associate yourself with different people from all walks of life. And you're very attractive to a lot of people. But does the attraction run deeper than just the Empress for you? So I don't think you'll be short on dates or anything, but I do see that you're, for some of you, you're lacking that familiarity. You're lacking that connection. It's just an attraction, I think, for a lot of you. Um, but look, the Empress can manifest something deeper. You just need to give it time with her. Um, I think she's quite a sensual, she's quite a deeply rooted energy. So I think some of you may be starting to establish roots with someone that is around you in some way. Whether you've made direct or indirect contact before here, Taurus, you might be establishing something here and not knowing it yet. But look, for some, this is a pregnancy, whether you're a male or a female. This is fertility. She's a very fertile, sensual energy. So for some of you, it's becoming more fertile in ideas, birthing new ideas, creating new ideas, becoming more innovative, working on beauty, inner beauty, outer beauty, spiritualism, um, or pregnancy. This could be revolving your children as well for some of you. Um, if you do have this empress child, it very well could be this person. Um, but she's a queen of manifestation. Look at her. She's got a very lush garden around her. She's enjoying a very lush surroundings. Um, she's very complacent. Um, she holds power. She has knowledge. She has wisdom. She's crowned with the 12 signs of the zodiac, the 12 stars. Jewel her crown. 
So there's definitely this notion of a war. There's, there's two crowns here. I'm not sure if this is like for some of you, you're entering a relationship and this is the crowning of a couple. Um, it could indicate that you're meeting someone also equally as successful as you, Taurus, who earns similar money, might have fame, might have money, might have a team that works for them, might also be quite established in their career and looking for the same thing as you. So again, you could be mirroring each other in a lot of ways here with the Empress. Um, because the next card over you have is the Seven of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here with the Seven of Swords. I feel like this energy is deceit or tiptoeing around a certain situation or not feeling that you can be completely open and honest about the situation here. Or this is an air sign that's beating around the bush with you. And I, I think for a lot of you, you're not appreciating the lack of um, indirect communication here. You're not really, you know, this isn't really you, Taurus. You're, you're very honest. Um... You know, you like to have all the information. You're not, you don't like to play games. Um, yes, you can be very engaged or very entertained by an air sign, but sometimes you might get a little bit frustrated with, with maybe how, maybe sometimes this person can be a little bit wishy-washy. And that's not paying out air signs because I'm an air sign, but I know myself and I know how other air signs can be and they can be really indecisive at times um, or not very direct with what they want or how they see the future with you. And I think there's an element of frustration here for some. And maybe this is why you can't find, you know, you can't find someone you're really deeply um, interested in, um, Taurus, is what's happening for some of you. But I definitely feel that, um, you know, the Seven of Swords energy is, you're, you might just be turning your back or treading very lightly in love or in relationships, because I do feel like the Empress sort of sits in the middle of the reading here, and I do think this is you concentrating on, on, your, on your career, on establishing yourself, on beautifying yourself internally, externally, through spiritual, spirituality, um, or other resources to help beautify you, to help bring you into your power, and I think this is where the emphasis lies. Okay, you have the Ten of Swords that has fallen out, followed by the Seven of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Emperor, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, the Ten of Swords. You know, I really do feel like there's an ending happening with an air sign. Or an air sign, you know, I'm not sure if this is backstabbing or dishonesty because you did have the Seven of Swords or the Ten of Swords. It doesn't necessarily have to be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, but it can be someone that's been dishonest about the, they haven't been honest about the truth. Eventually everything is going to come out though because there's light, there's a dawn, a dawn is coming. Some of you there's a rebirth with an air sign, it could be the case. Um, I don't know why this person keeps coming up around you. They could be in your future. They could come from distant lands than you, Taurus. But for some reason, this person is around you. Um, now, it doesn't have to be an air sign. As I said, it can be someone that exhibits the traits of an air sign. But I do believe this person, you know, everything is going to surface. But they've been dishonest about what they've been telling you, about who they are or what they're doing or what they've done or what they've encountered in the past. There's something that they've been withholding from you. And I've, and, and I've had my word with them. I've spoken to them about this because this came up in their reading. that They're withholding some sort of truth or need to reveal something. And that it needs to happen and it needs to happen soon. So for some of you, um, it was the, I think it was the Geminis that I said that to. Um, as well as, as well as Aquarius, that they're learning a lot too, so I think this might be applicable. Um, I haven't done Libra as yet, because that will be the last sign I do. But um, look, moving on, you do have the Seven of Wands, and this is resistance. Seven of Swords with the Seven of Wands. There's a fire sign that's being resistant here. Um, or that you're not getting much from a fire sign. They're coming up as the Emperor Energy. So it's hard to say. They've got their poker face on. They're, they're a little bit confrontational. They're coming up as a little bit f quite forward. Um, but I think what you need to do, if you want to get to this person, you need to soften them up a little bit is what I'm seeing here. Or almost like buttering them up, so to speak, here, Taurus. But look, I do believe there's you're being met with resistance from someone here in a fire sign. And I think this came up in your weekly reading, which I did yesterday. Um, and it's this resistance 
from a relationship or resistance to go forward with something and it could be with this empress here if you had your eye on an empress um, or you've had your eye on an emperor you know it could be met with resistance what I love about this though is that the empress and the emperor there is a relationship forming and it is quite a power couple the two of you are very very influential is what I'm seeing here for some, it's with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have an Aries, possibly another Earth sign here. But I do believe whatever this resistance is, you will work, at, work it out with a fire sign. And I do believe you have a faded relationship coming in here, Taurus. Something that you could start. It's going to start either behind this or the two of you will commit. This is coming into commitment here. The Empress and the Emperor are someone that... Um, are together they get married they're considered a power couple. you know I did mention pregnancy here so for some of you possible pregnancy news maybe your own it may be a girlfriend or a partner that you're with but um, absolutely wonderful here to see the Empress and Emperor there is a wonderful relationship happening here um, which is beautiful to see but for some of you I do see that there's a bit of resistance or confrontation happening in a relationship, whilst for others there's a lot of sacrifice or compromise that needs to be made with the Three of Pentacles. Um, you're going to work through it though. You're going to be stable. You're coming up King of Cups energy. He sits very poised and almost undisturbed on his stone slab amongst this murky and turbulent water. So whatever it is, you'll get through it. You'll stabilize eventually. You just need to give it time. Could take three days, three weeks, maybe even three months, but eventually the waters will calm down and things will be amicable between the two of you again if they're not. But the King of Cups is also a, a message of energy, uh, sorry, of an energy of love, of, of truthfulness, of honesty. So someone is confessing your love, you're either saying your I love you's or someone is saying it to you. Someone is confess confessing their emotion here. And this is someone that's quite reliable, Taurus. Um, it could be a water sign. But I feel like they're emotionally wanting to go through anything with you. And maybe you have emotionally gone through a lot with them already. But they're, I feel like there's a lot of solidarity. You know, the emperor, it's not very fickle. He's very set in his ways. He can be somewhat stubborn. But he's not about to leave anytime soon. There's very um, stable energy coming forward from the king of cups and the emperor. So I'm... I'm I'm seeing that there is someone that can offer you stability or is wanting stability or you've even faced adversity together. You faced a third party situation maybe or you faced dishonesty with your with your intentions um, or you faced this betrayal with this person or whatever it is, this rebirth. Um, because eventually the two of you will come out stronger and I do see that you'll become more emotionally reliable on this person. This is you becoming codependent, uh, Taurus. And you know, it's 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 either one way or another with you. If you're committed and you really love someone, you love them with all your heart and you revere them as your emperor, as your empress, and there's no one else, um, there's no one else that can take their place. They're, they're up on that pedestal. But there's also another side of you with that you're not if you're not committed, your your heart's not there. And it's either one way or another. I don't feel that's so happy medium in between for you, Taurus. It's, you're, either, you're either one way inclined or the other. And it's two very extreme behaviors. And I think this is what's coming up for you for this month. Um, you do have the Seven of Pentacles. So there is someone you're thinking very seriously about. And it could be another Earth sign. You're reflecting on memories together. Or it's almost like you're collecting data about them. So I'm not sure if you know this person or not yet, Taurus, but I almost feel like you're observing them from a distance maybe. And you already know a few things. Their friends, where they work, if they go to university, um, if they have children, what their lifestyle is about, what their interests are, where their passions lie. I, I think you're, you're collecting data here and things are, you know, it's almost like the wheels are turning. And you're thinking about having this person in your life as a potential relationship partner. Now, this could be an earth sign. You do have everything here. You've got water, air, earth, fire. So you do have a bit of everything. But I see that things are getting more complex here for you in regards to romance and relationships. Let's move on and have a look at your career and creative pursuits, which I definitely think are the forefront for you. That they're... they're um, it's, it's quite prominent here for you this month. Okay, the Tower card... Followed by the Three of Wands. Wow, okay, the Queen of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, and the last card is the High Priestess. Okay, there's a reveal happening about work. Um, there's major changes happening within work with the Tower card. 
there's a project you're working on and there could be a delay of some kind, but I think this is going to be picked up in the distant future again. Possibly not anytime soon, but in the distant future because the Three of Wands is next to the Tower here. So I almost feel like whatever you're walking away from, for those that are walking away, um, it, you're going to walk away from it for, for many, possibly many years, up to three years here. Or 30 years maybe. But the Tower card here is this sudden changes, turmoil, chaos, or crumbling of a business collaboration or a business partnership, changing agents, changing business providers, changing service providers, changing business investors or partners in some way here with the Tower card. Because your future is going to look very, very different in terms of work. What I love here, the Three of Wands looks to the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you have career, it's in the distant future, maybe not right away, in the distant future. Three has come up one, two, three times for you. So maybe three years, three months, you're going to have a work opportunity abroad. It's going to earn you money. It has potential to accommodate you, be very flexible in terms of incentive, benefits. I see nice money in your hands here. It may come with an asset. There's going to be something, um, either a bonus scheme, something attached to it to try and entice you to the role. This is coming up in your distant future. I also feel like the choices, the things you're doing now, the industry you're in, the, the project that you're doing, this is a long-term project. It's not something that will come and, and come and pass you by very quickly. This is something that's going to be in your distant future for one reason or another. Or there'll be more money-making opportunities within the industry you're in now in the future, even if you decide to leave this job. I do see it still hovering around you in the future here with the Queen of Pentacles because you are the Queen of Pentacles. It's quite a refined energy, regardless if you're a male or a female watching this. The Queen of Pentacles is a a very established energy. She's the last queen of the deck. She's got money. She's got assets. She's got wealth. I definitely feel there's a lot of material wealth, abundance, and prosperity that's in your future, he Taurus. You're initiating this or starting to see how much money or how much success this venture can get you. Because I see you clinging to money. You're addicted to this, Taurus. Yes, you're very money-driven, but I see there's been a lot of concentration on career and maybe not enough on love for some of you. I feel like if you've... This is all that you know. It's almost like I want to say this is all that you know right now and this is who you are and this person who you're trying to be or the level you're trying to get to, the abundance, the prestige, the success you're trying to chase, this is all that you know, Taurus. And I see if you continue to go down this path, you might neglect love a little bit here is what I'm seeing for some of you that have completely closed yourself off to love. Because I see, but you can't save every penny. You can't collect every, you know, you're not going to get every project. You're not going to get every client. You're not going to get every customer. You're not going to get every wholesaler. You know, it's sometimes the four of pentacles to me initiates, uh, symbolizes greed. So I'm not sure for some of you, if you've been greedy in the sense that you've diverted a lot of attention to your career, but I do see that you will have a lot of money in your hands. You'll have a lot of ideas. You'll be stepping on money. You'll be hoarding money. You'll be thinking about money. This is you being very, very money-minded. Very a strong business acumen is coming through to you, and it could definitely get you into this position of the Queen of Pentacles. A lot of success. Um... Early retirements for some of you, I think, too, is coming up. You also have the Nine of Wands, and this is why I said that, you know, it's the Nine of Wands is capricious energy, it's hesitance, you know, it's feeling unsure about something. And what are you feeling unsure about? The money, the career. You've been too guarded looking at this. You know, it's nice to chase the money, and uh, money is a nice thing to have. Yes, it can get you nice things. It can get you nice experiences. Um, the most important thing is if you're happy in your career, though, if you're genuinely happy. And you're not just, you're doing this for more reasons than money and, and status, um, you know, and it, and it goes beyond this. Because I think there's something about a long-term future goal here that you have for career that you may start to implement. It's in your path here. You're taking a bit of a different path here because you want to set up a different life. The High Priestess, this is in your prophecy here. This is in your life. I'm not sure if this is in regards to because you want to be more open to a relationship. You do have the black and the white pillars. Um, the black and the white, the yin and the yang, masculine and feminine. The pomegranate fruit is children. I'm not sure if your partner falling pregnant or you falling pregnant changes things for career for you. But I do think there's major reveals, announcements, 
there's some sort of validation symbols or synchronicities that will come to you Taurus it's almost letting you know that you're on the right path I also feel like you're there's an there's an award or accreditation or you're going to be mentioned in something a journal a publication um, you're winning an award you're going to be noticed you're, you're going to be written about there may be an article written about you um, a blog that's written about you you're going to inspire someone is what I'm seeing with the high priestess here in regards to your career in how much you've progressed in such little time or how much ambition and dedication you've had towards your a self governing business or someone else's company that you've been working for directly but I am seeing that there's a lot definitely a lot of positive changes um, and and money that's coming in the near in the distant future you're destined to have money you're destined to have status this is in it's in your path the high priestess is here so that's quite powerful but i will leave it at that taurus i hope this reading has been insightful thank you so much for